hacktivists or heroes? Anonymous, what do you think about them? Hi, I'm Jason Oliveira, and this is The Road to 40. Um, this is my nightly vlog where I talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about. Whatever's going on in my world, all the way to 40, which is about 150 some odd days from now. Anywho, I've been reading a lot of articles, and obviously today there was big news where uh, Anonymous had uh, hacked the Twitter accounts and got a bunch of information from uh, the KKK members in the Ferguson area to use against them. Um, I'm all for this, man. <laughs> if you watch a lot of my earlier videos, they're all about seceding from the nation, from becoming a nation of itself, in and of itself, run by the people, uh, on a much more local scale. Um, and I think they're making a lot of cool moves, and I wish there was, I wish I could be known for doing what they do, but I don't have the skills or the talents. You know, I just wish that there was a little bit more unity in the group. It seems like it's very widespread. It seems like they have no leader, so everyone just kind of does their thing. But, I mean, I guess they, uh, on some level they must uh, communicate on some server somewhere uh, to coordinate attacks, DDoS attacks and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I just, I'm all for it, and I, and I think that's the only thing outside of violence that could change the way that our country's heading right now or I shouldn't say the way our country's heading right now the the state of affairs between the two parties and, and just the division and the fact that we're completely run on a capitalistic society by corporations who pay for votes basically um, it's sad it's really sad and I think Anonymous is doing stuff to kind of further the betterment of the people um, but I don't know too much about them, obviously. Um, nobody knows a lot about them. I just, I, However, I wish they would start doing more. Um, or I wish there was something they could do more to change things quicker in the world. Or especially here in the United States. I know a lot of this, the way I'm talking out about this, I could probably get yelled at or on a watch list somewhere. But I can't help it. Like, I feel like that is the way to change things. It's better than having a second civil war with blood staining the country from coast to coast. Let's face it. I mean, that's because that's what it would come down to if it got violent. That's why I think you have to make people aware of what's going on around them. But you also have to get your facts straight, too. And I don't feel like a lot of the time I even know for 100% if my facts are facts. You know what I mean? Like, as hard as I try to confirm, I get my information from a source who got it from a source. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't get a lot of information, like, but yeah, that no one else could get. You know what I mean? But, um, I feel like they could be the change in the world that I see, at least. They could show the people that they are the ones with the power. They truly are. I mean, we outnumber our, <laughs> even our military, let's face it. If our, their entire population turned against the government tomorrow, it would be brutal. Uh, it, it would probably be pretty quick, though, I would imagine. You'd lose a lot of citizens, um, unless you get the military to go with you. I better stop talking about this now. My point is that I support Anonymous right now in everything that they've done so far. Um, I know I was a little upset when LulzSec <laughs> attacked the Sony PlayStation Network, you know, a year ago, whatever, two years ago. Um, but nonetheless, they have their reasons behind the things that they do, and they support free speech and, and freedom in general. Uh, and it may not be the freedom that you necessarily agree with, but they're willing to provide a freedom for everyone, as many people as they can, I think. I just like to see some epic grand scale thing that brought down like the entire banking or credit card system in the United States. Like that would be awesome. Like to see kind of like the whole Fight Club, the Tyler Durden thing. Like I guess it's not too far from that. I mean, it's like hitting a big reset button. I'm sure there's backups and and things could fix themselves, but I don't know. I just see a better future, and I see you know maybe hacktivists being a doorway to that future. Um, not to use them in such a generalization uh, or general terminology, but that's how I feel. Sticking to my guns. I've said it from day one on the show, and I'll say it, you know, right through now. I just think it's time for a change, and I think we have to be a big part of it. Like, I don't think we can just do, you know, sit on our cell phones. 
I don't think I, there's got to be something we can do. <laughs> and I'm not saying we're in a bad, bad, bad situation here, but I feel like you know things are unfair to 90% of this country. <laughs> Honestly, um, I think we could all lead better lives. And who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want to be the change or try to make the change or at least support those who want that change? Um, and so I throw out my support to the anonymous guys. You know what I mean? I wish there was something I could do. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Um, if there was, well, well, y'all remember the code word, right? <laughs> What's the code word, everybody? If shit hits the fan and you're out in the world and you're wondering if it's safe to trust somebody, go back and watch the episodes. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's tough when you're married and have kids and stuff, too, because you have to worry about your whole family, not just yourself. Um, sad state of affairs, my friends. <laughs> But hey, I'm loving every minute of it. Um, you guys have a great night. Thank you for coming back tonight. I don't even know if I'm going to post this one because <laughs> I'm a little concerned with like the FBI showing up at my door. Um, but if it was the other guys, I'd be cool with that. Anywho, uh, yeah. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Uh, live life to the fullest and love every moment of it. And let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. I'm Jason, G-E-Y-C-E-N. If you want to follow me on any of the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, hello, Google Hangouts, whatever. Um, also, please, comment, like, share. Uh, share these with anybody who you know who might like watching them. Um, comment. Give me something to talk about. Come on, fuckers. <laughs> Anywho. Thank you for coming back. You guys have a great night. I'll see you a little bit further on down the road to 40. Bum, bum.